So today we're in the Corrine Hills and the plan is to do the Hill of Milmedon all the way through to the Mire of Midgates. But I've read a lot of reports, walk reports, that there's still an awful lot of trees down uh, and that it can be a bit difficult. Um, so we'll just see how we get on. over any fallen trees or anything there's a there's a big section that we had to come through where they felled a lot of trees so I don't know if that was the difficult part before but yeah it was really easy really nice easy walk for us for the sake of the video we've just kind of appeared at the top of the hill of Milmedon because it's all forestry plantation and then um, heather moorland so I'm not really that sure what what to show you um, so yeah, we've just magically appeared on the next hill. It was also just like a super easy walk up here. Like not much elevation, not much to climb over. So it's been a real kind of relaxed walk. I think there's a geocache around here somewhere. So I'm gonna go and have a look for that next. of where we are which is basically a plantation this has been a really short video so I thought what I could do is just do a little reintroduction because it's been a while and I've made quite a few videos now without really saying who I am uh, or what I do again and um, so I thought I'd do that quickly um, so my name's Amy um, I'm originally from England I was born in Derbyshire and I grew up in Herefordshire, but now I live in Aberdeen. And that's where I met my partner, Mattia, who you will often see in the background of my videos. Um, so I think previously in my introduction a year or so ago, um, I was doing my PhD and I've just finished, well, I say just finished that, <laughs> sort of 66 months ago now. So I was doing a PhD on honeybees and I was looking at their interaction with a parasite and also a virus. Um, I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, it was four years, I had a blast. That was at the University of Aberdeen. Um, I finished or I handed in October 22. I got a job in Next over Christmas. So I worked as a retail assistant really enjoyed that it was really nice having a break from academia and just doing something a little different meeting new people um i did my viva in january which which is like a big final phd exam so it's just you sitting with two examiners talking through your research um it's quite a big scary thing but actually I really enjoyed it. It just felt like an opportunity for me to have a discussion about my work. And I think it's one of the few times where I could sit down with people and talk to them about what I've been doing that they were genuinely interested in the science that I'd done. Um, and then after that, I managed to get a job at a science institute here in Aberdeen. I love Aberdeen and Aberdeenshire. Um, 
so I'm intending to stay, uh, at least for the foreseeable future. Um, so I'm working at this institute now for a year. Originally I was just doing like a, a small three month contract where I worked on uh, policy, looking at human pathogens in the environment. Um, but now I'm, I'm there for a whole year doing a ton of different projects. I don't even know how to fully describe what I do. Um, every day is totally different. Every project is completely different. Um, but it's vaguely in the area of pathogens, antimicrobial resistance and microplastics, very vaguely. Um, outside of work, I really enjoy history. I'm not a historian, I've had no formal training. I just casually <laughs> love exploring um, anything from stone circles all the way to sort of abandoned farmhouses. Um, so you see a lot of that in my channel. It's not the best time of year to be looking for things like stone circles. Um, it's summer at the moment, um, so it makes it difficult in terms of things like crops or um, gorse or bracken. Uh, it can be a little bit difficult to explore. Uh, otherwise, I love nature and wildlife. Uh, sometimes I find that a little bit difficult to show because I film with a GoPro and my phone. So for things like birds, it's, it's hard for me to take footage of that. Um, also hill walking, I guess that's a fairly recent addition. Um, so my channel is called Small Adventures because, well partly because I was recovering from a chronic illness. So about six years ago I was diagnosed with ME-CFS, which is like a chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, and it really changed my life. I was super into mountain climbing, running, dancing. I was really fit um, and it put a stop to all of that. So over the past six years, I've gone from being basically housebound to gradually improving my fitness, my social life, the amount of work that I can do um, to this point now where I'm kind of happily climbing hills, <laughs> not mountains, not yet, just hill walking. Um, but I'm enjoying climbing sort of slightly higher and higher hills before I get ready to tackle my first small mountain. Um, so yeah, I guess look out for the first mountain video. Um, but otherwise, yeah, small adventures. It was because I was recovering from this chronic illness and I was um, wanting to do these kind of tiny adventures and I wasn't really able to go out on these like big travels or these huge hikes or these um, big you know overnight things I was only able to go on kind of small walks but they still felt like a big adventure to me at the time because it was all I was able to do um, and I still thought they were worth documenting um, and I just kind of feel like small adventures should be just as celebrated as the big ones, that we should be encouraged to get out for the smallest walk in a park um, or a natural environment without making it a, a big thing. Um, so yeah, this channel just documents all of my my small, tiny adventures. At the moment, around mostly around Aberdeenshire uh, and just outside, but I'm kind of hoping to expand that a little bit. Um, so watch this space. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next small adventure.